Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with another video. Uh, I was inspired by another YouTuber to do a uh, update video on uh, what I collect. Um, most of you know that follow my channel. I collect uh, baseball, football, basketball, and yes, hockey. Uh, and some non-sports related stuff like Star Wars. Um, my sets go back all the way uh, to uh, tobacco cards that I've been working on. 33 Gaudis, uh, all the Bowman sets. Uh, I'm a binder guy myself. I keep all my sets and binders and partial sets and binders. Um, and I got them in uh, order of the year. The only vintage set uh, that's complete is a 1960 set. And then I have every set from 1970 all the way up through this year in baseball tops. Um, I don't have all the update or the traded sets. Uh, I think I leave off at 94, so I'm missing like 94 through 2011, um, but then from 2012 up to present I have all the update sets, so, but these are all baseball, they go all the way over to there, then down here we have my football starts, uh, tops. With the 55 tops. Uh, the only completed set I have is the 1960 top set. And then I have from 1970 and 71. I have those complete 72. I just need a, about I don't know, 8 or 9 more high numbers for the football 72 football set. But then I have 73 all the way up through this year complete. Um, when tops stopped doing the football set I switched over to Donruss so I have all those sets it's a mess uh, if you look here you see all these thumbtacks on the wall this is where my Star Wars collection used to hang uh, last summer I sold off uh, almost my entire Star Wars collection I did uh, keep my loose original Star Wars figures but I did sell everything else off, but I still haven't taken down the thumbtack yet. It's still kind of kind of tough for me to, to think about everything that I sold. But uh, eventually I'll get around to taking those down. Um, over here it's more football. This is like 57, 58, 59, 60, all the way up to 67. And then I have Bowman football. Actually, over here, 48, 50, 51, all those there. I get the Philadelphia sets going. Flair sets going. It's my T206 stack. My Pete Maravich rookie card. So that set that I have complete. My 53 tops graded cards. Um, I need one more card to finish this set, and that's the mantle. It's on my list of things to do this year. Um, up here is some of my uh, Gaudi wide pens. Just little projects I'd started. Different cards I'd picked up. Got uh, different unopened packs. I like to have an unopened pack of uh, the different football sets I have. Um, still picking these up because I didn't go through and do all that. Whoops. Anyways. Uh, let me see what else. Series 2 baseball. I picked up an extra little box of those. I heard they're pretty popular right now. Uh, I collect stickers. All four sports. These are ones I haven't opened yet. Um. These are my stickers. I like to put them in binders. 
I like to put, put the sticker book in the front. And I like to put the stickers and pages. I like to keep the wrappers. I like to try to keep one unopened. These are not all complete. Some of them aren't even started yet. But I do have uh, some that are complete. I just, you know, like 81 football, 83 football, 84 football. These are all my baseball ones. 81 through 84 complete. A couple from the earlier, or the more recent years. Let's see, I've got, uh, that's football. But, and then over here, the football continues from the 90s. Most of these I built uh, from packs. There's a few I did just go ahead and buy the sets. Um, I like to uh, put the wrappers in front. Uh, recently... Uh, like for baseball, like when the, the 2020 Series 1 came out, I bought a couple packs just to open them, see what they look like. Uh, and I keep the wrappers. I try to get a hot hobby wrappers, and then I try to get uh, some retail also. And then I'll put those in front of the book. I'll probably just buy Series 1, and I'll just buy Series 2, and I'll buy the update. It's just a little too expensive now buying all the stuff that I buy. Uh, these are first year Bowman baseball from I think 89. I bought a uh, large collection of cards last year and I'm still going through it and uh, building sets. I quit collecting cards the year I graduated in uh, 88. So I missed all the, you know, all the sets from the 90s and uh, 2000s all the way up to like two. I got back into it in 2011 so I've been going back and building these sets I mean yeah they're not worth anything but to me the, the fun of it's building sets that's what I like to do in all the sports um, I also I used to collect uh, uh, players back uh, when I collected cards me and my friends we'd collect cards you know, back in the 80s when I was in high school. And, uh, we did things a little different. Or at least around here, we did things a little different. When, uh, we collected our favorite player, we just kept getting the same card as many as we could of the same card. One of my favorite players was, uh, Ricky Henderson. Uh, I don't know if these are Ricky, yeah. So, anywhere I would go... Yeah, there's Topps Ricky Henderson. These are all Topps 87 Ricky Hendersons. I got tons of his cards. Unfortunately, I only have one of his rookies. I sold a couple when I was in high school. Or I should say when my sister was in high school to some of her classmates. Like this, this is all Donner's Ricky Hendersons. Uh, anytime in a score, I probably got about a... 50 score but that's what we would do we just keep buying the same cards it wasn't like today where you could get you know there's different uh you know, rainbows of the the same you know the same card just you know a rainbow of the players it wasn't like that then you could only get you know maybe four or five of your favorite player uh you had tops donruss flair and uh, 89, like I said, I quit collecting 89, so I guess you could have got a couple more because Bowman came out, Upper Deck came out, Score came out. Well, Score came out in 88. Um, so you couldn't get, you know, like a ton of different stuff like you can now. I know there's guys out there that are, you know, like Barry Bonds collectors, and they've got hundreds of thousands of different uh, cards. Uh, but that's how we did it then, you know. Uh, I got Rod Carew's. Fred Lins, guys I thought were going to be great players. No, uh, well, <coughs> they were great players. Uh, Dwight Gooden, for example. Uh, we had tons of his cards. Uh, we were, you know, because we thought he was going to be the next big Hall of Famer. He was a good player, just didn't quite work out the way we thought it would. Daryl Strawberry, Ron Kittle. We collected tons of those cards. And uh, they just never panned out. 
so what are you going to do? My Star Wars guys that I did save, my original uh, collection, I bought all these, never played with them. Uh, all picked from original packages myself, with the exception of maybe like four or five that I just couldn't find until I got older. Um, and then my more expensive ones are down, down here. So, maybe I'll do a video of each guy someday, who knows. Uh, up here, other projects I got going. Uh, my vintage doubles. Uh, stuff that I, I take to the flea market and sell to make money to help pay for this uh, hobby. And I've got more down in the basement that I take. Um, there's just, you know, just cards and stuff everywhere. And then over here, this is my doubles. Most of this stuff is from the 80s and 90s and 2000s. The top row is all tops. The different years. I mean, I've got it all. <laughs> 81 tops. Like I hold on, like I said, I hold on to the stuff I buy collections. You don't always get, you know, top-notch stuff. But uh, I save everything. And then I build sets again. If I get bored, if I don't have any money, if I don't want to spend any money, I'll go over here, grab a box, put together a set, see what I need from it. And then I got another set of it. It's kind of what I'm doing with that the Bowman set I showed you over there. I never bought those in packs, but like I said, I bought that collection, so see how many I need to, to build a set. You know, I'll, I'll end up spending more money, you know, probably filling in the cards I need um, than what the set is is worth. But but to me, it's not about what it's what it's worth. It's about uh, you know just having fun collecting cards. Bringing back childhood memories, making new memories. Uh, I'm working on a, a set of cards with my son, Fortnite. I'm working on a set of cards with my daughter, uh, Stranger Things. But I think we're going to switch to Garbage Pail Kids. But anyways, this baseball down here is all the football, different years. Uh, if I have a ton of cards, they go in these big giant boxes. Um... If they're small, uh, if, if I don't have quite as many, uh, they go in the longer boxes, you know, all the way down to like a 550 count box is about the shortest box I deal with, give or take. There might be a couple that aren't, but like I said, that's, that's what I like to do. You know, eventually I'll put all these sets um, in uh, binders. It's another 89 set my dad got that for me for Christmas. I haven't got two or three of those sets now, but, you know, I don't care. I like looking at cards, old and new. And, uh, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, updated tour. Still a work in progress. It's still a big mess, but believe it or not, I, I kind of know where everything is, so. Some new sticker books for the new new cards so all right this video is long enough have a good day